Hi, this is Richard C. I'm a math tutor here at Wise Ant, answering a question submitted by a student. Uh, my guess is that the student is taking pre-calculus. This is typically this is a parametric equation, and parametric equations are typically covered in pre-calculus. So let me just draw a line under it. And we have a system of equations here. Is the best way to think of it. X is equal to t to the sixth power minus seven and y is equal to t cubed and it's difficult to to graph this when it's in when you have three variables so what we'll do is we'll eliminate the t um, and this is the most obvious the most common thing when you're asked to graph parametric equations is to eliminate the t. So let's just notice here that uh, y squared, you just square both sides, you're going to get t to the 6 here. See, it's going to be t cubed squared, just t to the 6. So now we can take this equation here and say x is equal to y squared minus 7 because we're substituting out t to the 6 t to the 6 is y squared so two y squared replaces t to the 6 up here and there you go and it might be a little easier to write it this way x plus 7 equals y squared okay so this might be a little weird you can see that it's a parabola. I mean, one of the variables is squared, the other is not, except you might be used to the vertical parabolas where x is squared and y is not. This is a horizontal parabola where y is squared and x is not. And you can see that just by plugging in some values, you can get a rough idea of what the graph will look like. So for example, when x is zero, You can see that y squared is equal to 7, which means y is equal to plus or minus square root of 7. So we'll put square root of 7 up here, square root of 7 down here, negative square root of 7. So those are the y-intercepts, and the x-intercept is when y is 0. When y is 0, you get x plus 7 equals zero so x would be negative seven and here it is out here so as i indicated a minute ago it's going to be a parabola that's horizontal and you can see that it's opening to the right so we would call this a parabola opening, a horizontal parabola opening right. And that would be the orientation that they're asking for up here. And we've already got the sketch. Now they're putting a, a restriction on the domain. So for t to be greater than negative 1, so basically you're dealing with Let's see. If t is greater than negative 1, what does that mean about x and y? Let's see. y is equal to t cubed. If t is greater than negative 1, then, then t cubed would also be greater than negative T, yeah. You just cube both sides, T cubed greater than or equal to negative one. So that means Y is going to be greater than or equal to negative one. And so we're dealing with
basically this part of the this part of the curve is excluded if that's negative one here so this gets excluded from this restriction and if t is greater than negative one it means t to the six is greater than one which would mean x let's do this again t greater than or equal to negative one which means x is greater than or equal to one minus seven which is equal to negative six so x has to be greater than negative six i think so we're dealing with this here This is negative one here, so x has to be greater than or equal to negative six. So this part of it got chopped out also. And you left with that. Okay, so that's that's the impact of this restriction on T. Okay, that's it for this one. Uh, hope this was helpful. I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.